Hey folks, Engineer 775 here, um, working on a, a backup water plan for some folks here in a, at an undisclosed location, of course. And uh, what we're, they're interested in is using solar water pumping, which is fantastic, and hopefully we'll be able to get them a good system. Um, but while I was here checking out their, their farm, their homestead, I noticed they had an old pitcher pump, this, this pitcher pump here, that... Uh, wasn't working, hasn't worked in about four years. And uh, so I uh, looked at their, they have a drilled well, they've got this incredible well here, I wanna show you the well and some of the things that you can do. Um, I didn't do a video of the pump rebuild, but what I did is I took the pump home with me. They let me take the pump and they saw that I was like a little kid and I wanted to fix it. So, um, so I took it home and I put new gaskets top to bottom, a base gasket for it. Uh, some of these pumps you'll see with a pedestal, but the folks that built this years ago made a nice little concrete pedestal and had two bolts, um, threaded bolts sticking up. So anyway, it's a great pump. It's an HP 75, which I think you find it today is a Chinese BSA 75. You can orient the, the handle in any direction you want, which for this application makes sense to put it at 90 degrees. Um, it's got the bucket hook, and I'm just going to set a bucket on it and so what I did is here's the actual cylinder in it that it was everything was rusty there was all sorts of critters and things inside but honed it out a little bit put a new leather cup in there to create the suction and clean just basically went through and cleaned it it's been sitting for oh years and years um, the folks here have been here four years and so this is who knows how many years, but pretty easy pumps to rebuild. And the gaskets on these typical three inch leather cups, you can even get them on Amazon. So anyway, went ahead and rebuilt this thing. It pumps, pumps real easy. I'm pulling from about uh, 14 feet. Once you get the prime, it loses the prime. And I'm gonna, there's no foot valve on this, but it's pretty shallow, so. So it's a, it's a two gallon bucket. You can get a lot of water fast. So, awesome pump. I don't know if you can kind of see it's pumping a full, full pipe and just man, my cup of front, my cup runneth over. But uh, this is fun. This is what I enjoy. It's helping people do simple things and to get water. And this is about as simple as they get. The old pitcher pump. So let me show you their well. Somebody did a lot of work. If you can see, I'll pull over here a hand dug well. They got it rocked up and mortared up, and uh, they got this. The bigger pipe is the one hooked to the pitcher pump I'm using right now. And then they put a jet pump in here, and I guess a couple years this thing ran dry using the jet pump. That doesn't mean it ran out of water. It just means it kept sucking air. So the recovery rate was probably not too good. So. There are ways to beat that. There is so much work done here. That's a shame. This thing hasn't been used. But what we're going to do is kind of revitalize this thing. Uh, we'll start with using it again. So what I want to do is put a solar submersible pump in here. And uh, whenever the sun's out, it's going to pump the water. Not uh, at a high rate. Maybe uh, one to four gallons a minute. Depends on what we do. And then I'm going to pump up to a, they're very fortunate here, to have an elevated lot. I mean, they got a, their property line goes up. I've already walked it and measured the elevation. So we'll be able to get at least 40, we could get more, but a good constant 40 PSI of pressure to their home. And so we're going to put a solar submersible in here. Let me set the panel out there where those chickens facing south and run it over here to a nice solar submersible. But, you know, we can get real fancy and sophisticated and, and I believe in solar water pumping, no doubt, but it's hard to beat the old pitcher pump. So I just, I didn't beg them, but I asked them if I could rebuild it for them because it hasn't worked in years. They probably could have bought one <laughs> um, just as cheap, but this one was here and it works great. All they usually need is a leather cup. 
and uh, I told him to go pick up some metal primer and put a nice coat of paint. This pump was green originally. So there you go. There you have it. Excellent, excellent setup here. And uh, they do have a regular drilled well, but what a shame not to be able to use this. It's a great water source for a farm. And we're going to get this back working. So they'll have a manual hand pump and a solar submersible pump um, that would be able to uh, supply all the water that they would ever need. I'm going to set it up with an overflow. And once the tank is full, it's going to overflow down to uh, their various gardens and animals. And... Uh, and we'll just adjust the overflow. We'll see how much water we get. But uh, anyway, it's good to have a, a backup. There's an EMP proof backup for you. Um, the uh, It's amazing that you can still get all these parts though. But even off of Amazon, you can get the lower gaskets and the, the cup leather gaskets. You can build your own gaskets too. I started to do that with this. And I had an extra leather cup gasket in the shop. I put it on there and it's it does a much nicer job as that leather gets wet it expands and makes a nice seal so all right well thanks for watching and if you've got a setup like this you know you can go get yourself a fifty dollar pump from Lowe's and they'll, it'll work just as well as this so okay thanks for watching okay I did find a, a leather cup seal which is what the pump's supposed to have I don't know what they put in it before but I put in a I had a new one I never put it in my pitcher pump so anyway brand new leather cup seal again you're gonna have to keep this thing you know use it occasionally to keep the thing moist when the leather's wet you know it expands and so I'm gonna put that in there check valve I wire brush the seats and the thing is just a little bit corroded but I think we'll be okay put this together and then uh, here's your the main guts of it so and again this is gonna it's gonna be tight but that's the way you want it so it'll fit and create a suction so hopefully well, I'll get this thing pumping today, and uh, but I did have a cup seal, about eight dollars for the leather cup on Amazon. Anyway, I had that part, but I did get some rubber to make some other gaskets for you. The in inside of the pump's pretty rusty, so I got a brush to fit here. And I think we're all right.